द लैंडसेट रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन जार्नल डिफाइन्स द इनफेक्शन एज ए न्यू भाइरस दैट हैज इमार्ज इन केराला इन चिल्ड्रेन यंगर दैन फाइव इयर्स द रिपोर्ट हाउ एवर कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट इट्स सेल्फ बाई ऑल्सो क्लेमिंग द इनफेक्शन टू बी इन एन एंडेमिक स्टेट एंडेमिक इज ए टर्म यूज टू रेफर टू ए डिजीज हुईच हैज स्प्रेड इन ए लिमिटेड एरिया बट हैज बीन अराउंड फॉर सम टाइम द रिपोर्ट फार्दर क्लेम्स दैट टोमेटो फ्लू वॉज फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाइड इन द कोल्लम डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ केरला ऑन मे सिक्स दिज इयर हाउ एवर ए स्टाडी पब्लिश्ड बाय द यू एस नैशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ मेडिसिन इन इट्स इम्यूनिटी इनफ्लेमेशन एंड डिजीज जार्नल इन जुलाई सेज दैट केसेस ऑफ टोमेटो फीवर हैव बीन रिपोर्टेड इन द पास्ट इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेन एज वेल द ऑथर्स डू नॉट मैंशन ए स्पेसिफिक ऑरिजिन टाइप और कॉज ऑफ द इन्फेक्शन दे सजेस्ट दैट इट मे बी एन आफ्टर इफेक्ट ऑफ चिकुनगुनिया और डेंगू फीवर इन चिल्ड्रेन रेदर दैन ए भाइरल इन्फेक्शन और दैट द भाइरस कूड also be a new variant of the hfmd a common viral infection affecting young children that appears with fever rashes or blisters on the skin and mouth sores as far as its etymology is concerned the lancet report claims that the tomato flu is so named because of the eruption of red and painful blisters throughout the body that gradually enlarge to the size of a tomato medical experts have taken strong exception to this saying that the uses of such terms is unscientific and misleading they also clarify that the infection is not related to the consumption of tomatoes in any way tomato fever is a misleading colloquial name for hand foot and mouth disease this is a mild viral illness commonly affecting young children typically below age 10 it is usually caused by a coxsacky virus it produces red spots on the skin and hence someone called it tomato fever and the name became popular but using such terms is misleading because many people mistakenly believe it comes from tomatoes the ministry of health and family welfare stated that the illness is a clinical variant of the hfmd the ministry however also used the term tomato flu in the advisory the ministry clarified that the virus causing tomato flu is not related to sars covid 2 monkey pox dengue or chikungunya despite symptoms similar to those in viral infections 
it seems the disease is a clinical variant of the so called hand foot and mouth disease within bracket hfmd that is common in school going children infants and young children are also prone to this infection through the use of nappies touching unclean surfaces as well as putting things directly into the mouth the center said it is a self limiting illness and no specific medication exists for its treatment yet it said on symptoms the center said a child infected with tomato flu will have fever rashes and pain in joints the illness usually begins with a mild fever poor appetite malaise and occasionally a sore throat small red blisters appear one or two days after the fever and these sores are usually located on the tongue gums inside of the cheeks palms and soles in some cases fatigue nausea vomiting diarrhea dehydration swelling of joints body ache and common influenza like symptoms have also been noted it advised isolation for 5 to 7 days from the onset of any symptom to prevent the spread of infection other guidelines mentioned in the report include supportive therapy of paracetamol for fever and body ache as well as other symptomatic treatments a nutrition rich balanced diet to boost immunity rich plenty of fluids and a hot water sponge to provide relief from irritation and rashes if you have liked the video hit the like button and consider subscribing